hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm so fancy i have like a 4k camera now <laughs> so today's video i'm actually really looking forward to because i purchased the new hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer from ColourPop, and i'm so excited to try this because i've literally just seen it everywhere and i've never tried anything other than a foundation either from wet and wild and elf because your girl's a broke bitch i'm really excited to try this out today and give my honest thoughts i've been wanting to try more ColourPop products and the only ColourPop products i've really used is their lip gloss and lippy sticks so i'm officially making this color pop tinted moisturizer into my losing my makeup virginity with color pop i'm really looking forward to doing this video i can't let me just shut up um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started but before we get started please be sure to hit subscribe and be sure to ring the bell to be notified of future videos and let's go ahead and get started i'm so anxious about this so now that i have my camera i get to use my phone and like look things up <laughs> you know so the color pop Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer does run for $14. I picked mine up today at Ulta Beauty. Now, I did pick the shade Medium 9W. Now, even though I picked it up from Ulta, I actually ordered this yesterday for store pickup. So, I did not actually go and color match. But ColourPop does have a really cool portion of their website where you can actually do Find My Shade. And it gives you faces of people with different skin tones. And you basically just match that with yours. So, based off of the pictures, I am a Medium 9W. So, I hope they did not play me with this. This hyaluronic tinted moisturizer comes in 24 shades. Like I said, it's $14, and this is supposed to be skin perfecting, lightweight coverage for fresh, healthy looking skin. <sighs> and so far, it's like four and a half stars on their website. A lot of people have five stars on here. Now, it says to prep your skin with pretty, fr pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating primer for extra hydration. So, I did not pick that up. But it does say use pretty fresh blending sponge for light coverage. Flat kabuki face brush for medium coverage or fingertips for on-the-go application. Lightly dab and blend into skin for a matte look. Set it with no filter loose setting powder. For a dewy look, use with pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating setting mist. I didn't pick that up either. So, we're just going to try this because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I apologize for this hair. <sighs> if you haven't seen photos of me on Instagram or on my Instagram stories when it comes to this hair, once this hair is washed full-blown lines mean air dried it's a complete disaster this thing has to be straightened it takes me an hour and a half to straighten my hair this morning i set my alarm for 5 a.m and i kept snoozing it to hit 5 30 6 o'clock 6 30 on and on and on and ended up waking up at 6 45 i have to leave here at 7 45 so i just had to put it up in a bun because what are you gonna do slicked it back so i do apologize for it looking a little shitty a little on the shitty side but it's about the face today so let's just stop stop looking at my hair it's okay we're gonna dive into the face now i did just come home from a long eight hour day nine hour day from work so my eyebrows are on i did not do eyeshadow this morning we have eyeliner and mascara that's all that's on my face so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face so i'm gonna prime my face i'm just gonna stick with the hydrating face primer The hydrating face primer that I use from Ulta. And I'm just going to take a little bit. Because you know what? Watching back my other videos, I'm not supposed to put that much primer on. I just don't think I am. So I'm just going to put it in my areas that are dry. So specifically here. 
here. I had a really bad dry patch right there for a while, but it actually went away. And right here, anybody else get really dry right in the in this region, like in the cracks? Oh my gosh. And if you haven't seen my other videos, if I'm squinting like I'm blind, it's because I am. The face is primed. Let me zoom you guys in so we can get started on this tinted moisturizer. All right, so face is nice and primed. So I haven't even opened the box. I haven't. It's still closed box. And I'm debating if I should do this with a sponge or my fingers. Cute. So you get... 1.45 fluid ounces with this for 14 bucks because I'm not into makeup is that a good price I, I, I don't know so it comes like a little pump like this fingers or blender fingers or blender so you know what to just see um kind of I don't know like just test it out I really hope this matches me if not, I'm going to go off on that picture that I picked to match me because I'm pretty sure that's my skin type tone. Alright, so... Yes, that does look like hella, hella dark, but let's see. Oh boy. Just so you can use your fingers this feels really nice it feels very moisturizing so maybe you just put it on and don't think about the fact that it's tinted I've never used a tinting a tinted moisturizer before I don't know wow yeah this thing is like hella moisturizing depending on how this goes I'm gonna be using this a lot because I really don't like or maybe I just haven't found the right foundation but I really don't enjoy with this elf flawless finish foundation I don't like how it feels like there's a lot of makeup on my face I really don't like that feeling yeah, I think if you're doing the full face, you need to use a blender. I'm just going to take the rest that I have on here and see if you blot it like it's foundation, what happens. Yeah, I definitely think if you're going to do full face, you have to use a blender because... You don't want it to like, it was looking really streaky there with my fingers doing my whole face. It's like a thousand degrees in my apartment right now. Why is the heat on? Oh, wow. Let me put my glass, let me put my um, goggles on so I can see what I look like. That's not bad. It definitely, like, it's not full coverage, clearly, and it even says that on the bottle. It lights a medium. But for just using a lot with my fingers and then some with the Beauty Blender, like, that looks nice. It gives a nice evenness to the skin. Like, it doesn't make... It definitely covers up red spots that you have. Like, if you have a lot of discoloration or anything... That's nice, wow. So, I guess we'll just continue full face. So I guess I'll do my concealer. And actually, since we're going with the more natural look, I guess I'll do the Pretty Vulgar Concealer in the shade Middle Ground because this is a very buildable concealer. So one coat is not going to do very much. So... I'll just put some under here. So who watched the Super Bowl yesterday? If you didn't, you're a loser. Just kidding. 
So I'm not a huge Super Bowl person. I watch it mainly out of support for my boyfriend, Sean. And I mainly watched it for the performances and Shakira and J-Lo were the shit yesterday. And then her daughter getting up there. Her daughter is going to be everywhere very soon. So, so far, I'm really liking this. I'm really, really, really liking this. Like, I would most likely use this all the freaking time. Alright, so, let me set the under eyes. Because, honestly, I can say that I'm blessed with really, really good skin for the most part. Like, I have breakouts here and there, but it's not anything too crazy. So, I'm going to go on with the Sheer Tint Finishing Powder from e.l.f. Um, yeah, it's nothing too crazy, so I feel like this will definitely make me, like, just use this all the time and not even wear foundation, honestly. This is so nice. Wow. This is really nice. It doesn't even feel like there's makeup on, and that's the best part. But so far, I like it a lot so let's go in with bronzer i'm still on that cheap side sorry it's why we're doing a series one item of a brand not that 14 dollars is a lot but honestly i've never spent 14 dollars on a makeup product so you're my first but we're sticking with what i can afford so the elf bronzer i'm loving it in forever sun kissed Because honestly, it just looks like I had a really good skin day. It doesn't even look like I have makeup on really. So I'm not going to go too crazy with this bronzer or anything. Bronze on big old forehead. Do you know what, like, okay. So literally, I'm not even lying. When I was younger, my mom used to literally hide my forehead with like the little mini bangs like you see like babies that have like the little like baby hair bangs she used to cover up my forehead for the longest time and then when i finally said like what is the big deal she was like oh it's just it's just to cover up your forehead so i didn't think anything about it and then somebody when i was growing up was like your forehead so big it could block out the sun like legit somebody told me that so I think I've been, I was self-conscious for a long time about my forehead, but you know what? It's okay. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Now, if I'm going for a natural look, I don't want to go crazy with blush, so I'm going to take the Ciate London Melted Light Dusk Blush. And I'm going to do like so light. Anybody watch that Fast Fast and Furious 9 trailer? They need to stop. I was such a diehard fan of that series, seriously. And I think after number 6, I was like, why are we still going through this? John Cena? Stop. Last step, I'm going to go with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I have translucent. I'm just going to use the little puff that comes with it just to set. And I'm just using a really light hand because I don't want to make this look super matte. But also, I also don't want to like dry up my face because this is hyaluronic. And I don't want to just suck all the <laughs> freaking moisturizing aspects out of this product so let's set the face with the elf matte magic mist and set oh god it doesn't taste good dude this looks so natural like it looks like i'm more put together than i was but like i'm not <laughs> and i would totally do this look every day if i could okay 
lips. So I actually have tried one of their lippy sticks before. It's the shade Cookie and I love that. But I had never tried their lippy pencils. So I actually did pick up one in the shade BFF3. It's this dark one. I've been wanting to like be on trend and try that look where you do like the darker lip liner and then you put like a little bit of a nude in the center. And I tried it on my way home from work and like it did not work. So we're going to try it on camera so you can, you know, make fun of me if I do it bad. Alright, so... Uh, I think you darken... Like... Halfway, I think? Right now it just looks like I freaking smothered some brownies in my mouth. Oh gosh. Oh man. It literally looks like I let a bag of chocolate just melt on my face. So... I also have from ColourPop, this is such, such, such a gorgeous shade. If I was to compare this to a more higher end lip with almost the same shade, the KKW Holiday Trio, where she has like a matte, a cream, and a gloss, one of the nudes in there, it's actually the matte one, is literally almost the same color, and this was $3 from ColourPop, so just letting you know if you're on a budget you don't have to get kkw beauty 18 dollars a lipstick you can spend three and it's just as pretty so i think you put it in the so that does not look good <laughs> Does that look good? What in the world? I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to put it out like in the middle. Oh well. I mean, I don't freaking know. Does that look good? I don't freaking know. I don't want to. I only have one ColourPop gloss. And it's in the shade, it's an orangey shade I don't really like. So I'm just going to go in with the gloss that I have over here. Let's see. I'm going to do because I'm loving, loving, loving this House Laboratories La Riot Lip Gloss. I'm going to go in with the shade Venus on top and finish her off. Oh my gosh, so good. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the finished look. So let me zoom you guys out so I can give you my final thoughts on this moisturizer. Alright, so you're all zoomed out. I really, 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 really like this moisturizer like I look refreshed the, I'm sorry I'm distracted by my lip combo right now that's like really pretty good I think no tell me in the comments if I'm like hallucinating but that looks like pretty good it wasn't the look I was going for but looks pretty nice it doesn't even feel like makeup to me it feels like I really just put on a moisturizer and a couple extra steps and I'm done. I would totally try and incorporate this more in my makeup routine. If you guys watch a couple, few of my other videos, I express how much of a beginner I am with a lot of the makeup. And 
whenever I wear foundation, it feels so heavy. It feels like there's so many different steps that you have to do. It just feels like it's a lot. And sometimes you don't want to look or you don't want to do that much work because you may not feel like it. Like I'm exhausted in the mornings. If I could just slap some of this moisturizer on, do some bronzer, eyebrows, mascara, and I'm really out the door, don't even really have time for anything else, I would definitely do this. This is an amazing product like I absolutely love it if I could do one thing differently I probably wouldn't set it because I did like the dewy look it was giving off um, but I definitely think I'll buy the other items from this pretty fresh collection the primer and the setting spray I think that combination together will be so good but yeah this is such a good look for $14 you were a good buy I absolutely love that definitely in love with ColourPop products clearly I have yet to try their eyeshadow palettes I will continue trying out ColourPop I recommend this a hundred percent it's a thumbs up for me with this product if you don't like the heavy feeling of makeup or you just don't have the time and want to just rub in some moisturizer by all means buy that product it's amazing thank you guys so much for watching the first episode in my losing my makeup virginity series with ColourPop. yes i'm so excited i don't know what my next product will be i'm thanking fenty beauty because i haven't tried any fenty beauty products and i really really want to let me know down below if there's a brand that you want me to try out for the first time I can tell you with one hand the products that I've tried out and it's not that many. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of my future videos. I am always going to be here for you Wednesdays and Sundays, 12 p.m. EST. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you have a great rest of your week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.